The natural resource professions are needing good qualified people. They really, they're struggling. The forestry schools, uh, people in range, in range conservation, uh, wildlife, uh, there's not enough kids coming out of uh, high school that are interested in natural resource professions. And so um, I, I love my career. In general, when you think about the United States and you think about the beautiful national parks we have, for example, and the national forests like we're so privileged to have here in the Black Hills, is it's a big part of our makeup. And obviously it takes care. I mean, these, it doesn't happen by itself. You have to manage forests just like you have to manage anything. And that's a very broad area. I mean, I'm, I'm reminded of wildlife that live in the forest and botany and plants and, and, so, and, and the economy that evolves around it as well. And I just think it's important that we not forget about that. And that as we think about our economy in the United States and we think about preparing our workforce, that we're very mindful that the, that, uh, the National Forest Service, our state parks, our national parks need care and that we need to be producing professionals who are ready to go to work in those areas. There's lots of different opportunities in, in forest products industry. There's forester positions, but, but there's other positions as well. There, there's timber harvest professionals. Uh, there's folks who work in the sawmills. There's obviously administrative. It, it, takes, it takes a lot of different uh, t types of folks and a lot of different educations, backgrounds, experiences, and, and just skill sets to, to keep a, an industry running. So I remember a, a meeting that I scheduled down in Rapid City, which did still include the Nymans and Nyman Enterprises, but it included representatives from the National Forest Service out of Custer, and we also had people there from Game Fish and Parks, especially Custer State Park was very represented there as well. And um, it was wonderful because the conversation just got momentum. Every one of them talked about a difficulty in hiring um, filling their workforce and hiring people into the jobs that they had. All of, it was a common theme that we heard across all, every one of those um, different entities within this broader sector. When you hear the word forestry, what comes to mind? Someone will say, clear cutting. So probably more of a negative uh, um, um, view of forestry. Or they'll say wildlife habitat or water or carbon. These days, carbon's a big topic. Forestry really is an integrative science. It is economics, forest ecology, silviculture, forest engineering, technology, and social aspects, people. Forests are managed according to people's values. A lot of people focus just on the removal of trees. But here in Colorado, um, the majority of road work that recreationists benefit from come from forest management projects. It's the only way that road work gets done or paid for. It's also one of the best tools we have for increasing wildlife habitat or improving wildlife habitat. You know, if you want to do wildland fire, that's forestry. If you want to work in timber and set up timber sales, that's forestry. Maybe you want to live in Denver, but you love trees, you could do urban and community forestry. And it's just, I think forestry is so important. And you know, everyone says trees or, you know, we need them to live, but we truly do. And I think more and more jobs are gonna be needed in forestry. The social science is actually the most important because it sets the direction of how, how we view forests and therefore how they're managed. And the question is not, should we not manage it? How should we manage these forests? But there is the rub, um, melding science and values. Um, very difficult. And that's one of the things that um, we teach here in the College of Forestry. It's not just about one timber or wildlife or whatever, you're going to be charged with how to uh, manage a lot of different things with competing interests and how you work with those people through collaboratives, which we see a lot of these days or other groups, is going to be really important to be able to move forward with, um, with management on particularly public lands. We've really spent the last couple of years really talking about the mission of Black Hill State and what 
how we want to continue to evolve this institution as we think about the next 10 or 20 years. And something we're really working hard on right now is to better align our academic programs to workforce needs in the Black Hills region. And it, it became apparent as we were really having this, these conversations about workforce alignment that a huge part of the workforce is all about the Black Hills. And that includes, of course, tourism. We understand that. It, incur it, it includes outdoor recreation, but it does include things like forestry and lumber and sawmills and other such things that make up a big part of the economy here. And we have produced a lot of graduates that have gone to work for the National Forest Service, uh, but it was a little bit more of an indirect path. And we thought there's no reason we should not make this a much more deliberate and direct path. And so that is something we're working on now. It still will be embedded within the biology major. So biology, but then a specialization in forestry and grassland ecology. But our hope, and this is what we told the Nymans, is, is give us three years, and if we can hit roughly 30 to 40 students in the major, we can move it to a standalone major, which we really do want to do. That's a goal. I would say in high school, um, I was a part of Future Farmers of America. FFA definitely got me ag-based and we had a plant science class, but that got me into thinking, oh, I like plant identification, I like working outside, I like big machines, I like trees. Um, so all that kind of helped me decide I want to do something in natural resources. What, one of the things that really drove me to, to wanting to be in the forest was to that sense of fulfillment and wanting to make a difference in something. And even though I'm not in the forest every day, in, in the type of job that I have, it, it's an office job, but it's making a difference. I mean, I come from a very unconventional forestry path. I was born in the Bronx, um, you know, raised down in um, urban, suburban Florida. Um, knew very, very little about uh, forest or forestry. Um, went on my family's one and only vacation our whole lives. Um, that was to the Smoky Mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee and had this epiphany when I was 12 years old and came back on fire to work in forest and forestry conservation. <laughs> I think back how little I knew. I look back on my life, my God, it was the greatest decision I ever made. So the reason I wanted to get a forestry degree is kind of funny. Um, I grew up camping and I remember these girls drove up in a forest service truck. I think they were testing the water there. And I was like, that's a job? I think the next year I graduated from high school and I just applied to that forest service. And I got the job and I was on a recreation crew. So I got to go around and um, mostly clean toilets. <laughs> Um, but it's some of the best memories that I have and anyway that just sparked um, my interest in forestry so I ended up going and getting my bachelor's at the University of Idaho and so um, that's what brought me to forestry was just those girls showing up in a truck and testing the water. So. You gotta like working with people but I think forestry if anyone likes being outside and they want good job security and an interesting job that people would, you know, want to sit down and have a beer with you and talk to you. Why? What do you do? I think forestry would be good for anyone if they want to explore that field. We all have to work together to make sure we get to where we need to be. It's going to take compromise and balance and everybody giving a little. Get in with a four-year degree or, or even without and, and start working your way up. It, it really is still one of those hard work and perseverance, uh, you can you can start making a, a name for yourself. It's been very fulfilling. I couldn't have picked a better profession for me, something for myself. Show your support for We the Forest. Share this video or buy gear at wetheforest.com.